All right, everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Scooby Doo First Price. We're gonna go back in here. We're on episode two. We got everything out of episode one. We beat the boss, and now we're going into episode two. We played a little bit of episode two in uh, the boss episode of episode one, but that's okay. We're gonna go back through anyway. Because, well, we need to. If you guys want to go see the cutscene for it, uh, go watch the last episode, which will be on the left-hand side of the screen at the last 20 seconds of the video, so go check that, that out. Anyway, let's hit in. Oh, boy! Dagwood! Let's just get into the game Screams! Play. That way! Food stand! The other way! And that's where we're going! Come on, Scoob! <laughs> The funny thing is that they are making a new Scooby Doo with the um with this look. So actually, the new Scooby Doo is looking like this. So we're gonna get through this anyway. And no matter what, um, I can always buy another, um, controller. The funny thing is that earlier I, um, did the rest, well, not the rest of the week's, um, Mortal Kombat things. Because what you guys don't know is that the, how I do this and how I record is that on Sundays, I normally take everything and I record everything in bulk. So every Sunday I sit back and do a week's worth of recording so that, you know, for the rest of the week I can just sit, I can sit back, I can edit everything and I can, you know, go through as much of you guys' comments and, you know, start brainstorming for next series and everything else and what I can do. So I make sure every, I make sure everything runs as smoothly as possible. And I can also see how the numbers, I can see how the numbers stack up. So that if everyone doesn't like the videos, I can, uh, I know ahead of time and I can start looking for new series that I can replace and use. So, that's how everything works and like heads around. You know what I mean? It makes things much, much easier. And plus, that, that gives me more time to, you know, give everything I have for the rest of the week. Think about the um, live streams that are coming in, what I can do for those. Oh, God. Again, creepy. Oh, God. Okay. But yeah, that's how I record everything. Makes things much easier. Oh god. But recording is like the easiest part, well not the easiest part of, um, you know, of the process. The editing is much 
more difficult. Well, at least I think so. Sometimes editing is easier. thing is that sometimes the what turns everyone off from uh, you know recording and editing is that not everyone has too too much time to waste on editing and it turns people off from doing it which I can I can totally respect like people have asked me you know what to like to record as many videos as you do, you know, what's your process, you know, how do you do it? And, you know, I don't see, like, the, the, it being an issue. It, it's, ne it's never been an issue of whether or not, like, hey, it's, it, it's easy, no. A big factor, as I, I like to think about it, is that if you have fun, as long as you have fun with it, like you'll never, you know, you'll never sit back and say, "Oh, it's it, it's it's been hard." No, that's not how that that goes. If you think it's fun, then you know it's fun to you. It's not supposed to be difficult. So, my best advice for anyone who's being a YouTuber is that do what's fun to you, not what's fun to everyone else. Where have you been all my life? And that's basically what I, I, I would say to everyone. This can be either... Where we left off the last time. This is where we did leave off, so we'll get into everything here. But yeah, if you guys want my advice, as someone who's been here for about five years, five years going on about six, six in June of, of 2020, I would say this job can be as fun as you make it. And that's all I can say. You can make this as fun or as, you know, downright degrading as possibly can. You know, some people get burned out of uh, YouTube and that can be, that can be a thing. Obviously, I have, actually, hold on. I don't even know how many videos I've actually recorded. That last time I checked was 2,500 and something. And... Actually, by now, I, I lost, I've lost count. You gotta think, live streams, you know, videos upon videos upon videos. Five years worth of videos will do that to you, and it'll give you a substantial count. Up oh, here it goes, videos. 2,572 videos. Two videos a day, every single day. And that's about, for about three years. And that was me being consistent. 
So that's basically what I can tell you is that I have fun with this and I have fun being able just to interact with everyone and have a little bit of fun on my way. But sometimes people don't get that opportunity. Some people are in it for the money. Like, I don't care if I get paid for this. Would I like to get paid for it? Of course. Anybody would like to get paid for what they do. Actually, before, I was getting paid for it. But, uh, Logan Paul seen to, uh, that, the destruction of that. Thanks, Logan. That's also another thing. I don't have a problem with Logan Paul. I don't have a problem with Jake Paul. It's the way they carry themselves is my issue. Like, they don't have a care in the world. Because they don't. They don't have a care in the world. They don't know the grind. When they got here, they they were already known. They did not have to work for what they got. The only reason why they're relevant is because they're, con they, they're controversial. And that's what... Some people are not understanding. Like, that's why they're relevant. They're relevant because they're, you know, they're controversial. And I understand, like, that's better than nothing, but I'd rather get it by being honest with my fans than rather be, you know, absolute, you know, douches to my fans. Like, people like Rice Gum, people like, you know, the Paul Brothers, they get, they get their kicks out of being stupid. And not to, and some of them, they can do good. And I'm not saying that all, they're all bad. I'm not going to say that. Because, no, that isn't true. And I'm not going to sit there and, you know, boggle your mind on that. But my issue with them is how they carry, they actually carry themselves. With all due respect to the, the Paul brothers, you know, and and uh, people like Rice Gum that get their stuff from Clow and thinking that the what you wear and what you do is what makes you relevant. I don't care if I'm relevant or not. I have fun with what I'm doing. Whether it makes me relevant or not, I don't care. <laughs> like, think about it. I'm at... By now, I ha I've had, what, 30, 40 people that say you should be more, you know, you should have more subscribers. You should have a ton more people be watching you with how you carry yourself. I'm like, to be honest, I'm just glad anyone's watching me at all. I didn't care that I was relevant. I cared that people cared. Oh god. Like that was not my worry. Relevancy is not my worry. Okay. I think we've gotta like do it together. There we go. But yeah, I didn't care about relevancy. And it was okay that I wasn't the most relevant guy. Velma Sumo, you can now purchase this costume to come out. Oh god. I can only imagine. But I'm not striving for relevancy. I'm striving to have fun and have fun with my subscribers. Whether you guys like what I do or not is understandable. Like I love having you guys around. I love having fun with you guys. 
So it, it, it really doesn't matter to me that, you know, every, some people find my crap bad. Like, think about it. You guys see, if you guys have been around long enough, if you guys were around when I was playing Doki Doki, when I was coming through Doki Doki Literature Club, that I was getting death threats. Yeah, it was upsetting. Nobody wants to get death threats. But... Did I... Was I actually caring what they were saying? Of course not. It was a bunch of people who tried to get themselves relevant because the whole thing is that, oh, you're a pedophile because you like the game. I'm like, then you gotta call, go call Jacksepticeye a pedophile. You gotta go, you gotta go call, um, Matt Pat, Stephanie, pedophiles. You're gonna have to go call Markiplier a pedophile. You're gonna have to go call people like terrorizing all them pedophiles because they like Doki Doki. I like playing Doki Doki. So what? <laughs> but some people get themselves off by thinking that, you know, making fun of a YouTuber or, you know, calling YouTubers out, you know, made them popular. It's not the case. And I know this isn't about Scooby-Doo, and I know I'm playing a Scooby-Doo game, and I should be making my topics about Scooby-Doo, but, you know, that's fine. Because this is a topic I think everyone should hear, and should listen to at least a little bit. Because a lot of you guys, now let me, let me stop for a second, I know a lot of you guys, some of you are aspiring YouTubers. Take Dustin, for example. Uh, Dustin's a YouTuber, and uh, I even I even talked to him on his YouTube channel yesterday because his friend misinformed him. Well, uh, the other day when I'm recording this, yesterday when I'm recording this, his friend misinformed him about something that's not even happening that got him and a bunch of his viewers upset. And I had to tell them, I'm like, this this that's not how this working. Like, I care about my I care about my subscribers. I really do. Whether you guys see it or you know, if you don't, that I do help my subscribers. I help them tackle some of their problems. Take Infinite, for example. He was getting bullied. And people were talking down to him. I explained to him that not everyone's going to like what he writes. Or that there's some things that he should stay out of. Like, I do not get in between a YouTuber and another YouTuber. There's no need and it could just be like, okay, they're just trying to get your attention. Calm down and just, you know, ignore it. That's what they want. They want your attention. People always try to stop problems with me on YouTube. And believe me, whether you want, guys want to know it or not, people are going to stop problems with you. If you let it get to you, then, you know, you're doing what they want. You're, they're letting it get to you. Why do you think that when I was getting death threats, you never seen their, you don't see their messages anymore? You can't go back and see it. Why can't you go see it? Because I shadow ban them. And whether they're watching today or not, it's completely up to them. The funny thing is, when you know, when they were talking crash to me, they were subscribed to me. They were helping me. I didn't care what they were doing. I shadow banned them. And nothing really relevant right now is is going on, so I'm just, you know, I'm just having a little bit of fun, just talking. Nothing's really happening, so I'm just, you know. But, yeah, back, back to what I was saying. Um, I'm getting a little off track. With all due respect to everyone, I understand that some of you want to help your friends, your, you know, your family on YouTube. But some things you gotta stay out of. And I've learned that through my experiences. You should not be in the middle of everyone's beef or everyone's problems. Let people do, carve their own way. Okay, this cutscene, so let's listen. Step away from the sandwich! We couldn't let innocent hot dogs just go to waste. Oh, that's a hot dog. Tell you what, if you 
you make one of them for me, I'll let you off. Damn. I wish every, every everybody was cool, just as cool as that. Well, while we're doing this, I, as I was saying, some beef needs... Some of these beefs need you to stay away from them. Okay? Don't let anyone drag you into it. Take me, my friend, Sean, for example. No, sometimes you don't see out of eye. And uh, so on some things, he didn't like what I had to say. But it doesn't mean that me and him don't have tremendous respect for each other. Like notice, um, on a lot of th uh, on some things, no. Him and me, we don't talk as often as we used to. But he's doing his thing, I'm doing mine. And that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I shook you guys up. We came here to help. We're Mystery Inc. Our friends are out searching for the non-edible type clues. <laughs> oh, if they want to find clues, they should be heading for the haunted house. Haunted? <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> Alright. Well, it looks like we, uh, we prevailed in level one. I did a lot. Damn, one of two. And we got a costume. Yep, level two. Alright, well, I, I better be um, ending up anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, if you gotta, gotta take anything from what I've said today, is that... Be... Be happy with what your lot in life is. Be happy with what you're doing. I know I got into a tirade about, you know, YouTube and everything in here, but I, I think this is better for everyone to hear from somebody who's been on the platform for a very long time, rather than somebody who's just joining and telling you, you know, this all this crazy bullshit. I'm not gonna bullshit you. No, not every not everyone's gonna like your content. Believe me, not a lot of people like my content. And you want something? That's okay. I don't care if you, anyone likes my content. I'm having fun with putting up the content I like. And of course, I am. I am in the business of helping out my subscribers where they need me. If they need some advice, there, you guys are fully able to, you know, send me a message, send me a comment, asking me for a little bit of advice. And you want to know something? That's cool. If you guys need to talk to me about anything, please send me a message, and I would, and I'll be happy to, because I'm here for you guys. No, I'm not like a lot of other YouTubers. No one is gonna be like um, a, another YouTuber. But I respect my, I respect you guys enough to, you know, talk to you guys and be a normal human being. My personality, I'm not just some random YouTube personality. Yes, I'm Damien Dragon, but on the inside, I'm just Damien. And, of course, I'm, if you guys are having a little bit of trouble and you need some sort of advice, then maybe I can be of assistance. But I'm not going to look at you guys and, you know, give you advice on a topic that I have no idea. If I can't, if I can't give you advice and I'll look at you and say that's really not something I'm very well versed in, and I'll give you, I'll give you as much advice as I can. But the thing is, you need to be content. Content with your YouTubing. If you guys want to be a YouTuber, then by all means, keep your head and keep your head up and make the content that you guys like. Don't let any, don't let anybody put you down, and don't get into anything that's unnecessary. There's no need to fight every battle. Pick your fights where you need them to be. Don't let, let anyone talk down to you. Don't let anybody get you down. That's the whole respect in life. As a YouTuber who's been here for very many years, I can tell you one thing. That people will put you down. But the whole problem and problem and point that you're going to have to make to them is that you don't care. The more you show them you don't care, the more they're going to look sit there and stop screaming with you because... That's the point. They want your reaction. They want to see you get mad. They want to see you fight back. They want to have a fight. 
And if you don't give it to them, they're going to get bored. So take that for what you will and take that for the want. Not everyone's going to like you and not all your friends are going to be there forever. Look at me. I still have a friend in, in Sean, but me and him don't talk very often. He's still my friend and I still have tremendous respect for him. No, me and him doesn't see eye to eye on everything. You want something, that's fine. He doesn't see everything eye to eye with me. That's cool. But that's what you got to realize. Your friends can only bring you so far, but you can bring yourself all the way. So, be who you want to be. Just try to be as nice as possible and people will respect that. Anyway, I'm sorry I had to talk to you guys the year off, but I think it... I, I, Think that was necessary anyway as i said at the beginning of the episode on the left hand side of the screen there'll be the last episode of scooby-doo go check that out and the next one i promise you that it, it will all be about scooby-doo on the left hand side of the screen as i said scooby the last episode of scooby-doo go check it out if you guys have not yet also on the right hand side there'll be the subscribe button click that and join the dragon links today because we do something like this every single day so you don't want to miss out on a single thing that we do so i promise you that there's always some fun here in dragon land and as i said if you need me, by all means, hit me up and me give me a message. Maybe I can help you out. Anyway, everyone enjoyed today, but good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of Scooby-Doo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Dragon action. Peace.